Need help adding and managing media with Cinemaker? In this video, we will go over all the basics you need to know to get started. But if you need help with the advanced media features Cinemaker has to offer, like picture-in-picture -picture images and video, adding audio files, and Facebook polls, visit the Learning Center in the Start Screen menu. To start, let's add an image. First, go ahead and tap the farthest left icon in the Features menu panel, labeled Media, and then tap the plus sign next to Add Media, and then select Image. A pop-up screen will appear, and from there, tap Add Image. Now you'll have access to your iPad or Mac's camera roll or file system. And once you select an image, it will immediately appear in the preview monitor, where you'll be able to control the placement, size, and appearance by pinching and moving the image. You also have the ability to make it full screen by tapping Expand. You can also rotate it, add a border, and select a transition effect to how you'd like your image to enter and exit frame by hitting Wipe. You can also assign it to the camera sources you'd like the image to be displayed by selecting and deselecting the camera icons in the top right. Once you've placed the image and optimized your settings, hit Save at the top right. This is also how you'd add and edit PNG graphics. Now let's add a video. To do so, you'll take the same steps you took to add an image. The only difference is when you select Add Movie and go to Select from your local storage, you'll need to import your video first. Once it's imported, you'll be able to select the video and it will appear in the preview monitor. Adding text is just as easy. Select the Media Menu panel, hit Add Media, and select Text. A text field will appear and allow you to type anything you'd like. You'll then simply be able to adjust the position of your text by pinching and moving it, adjust the color, font style, and sizing by hitting Font. You can also add a background color by selecting Fill, and add a transition effect by hitting Wipe. Once again, when you're done, hit Save in the top right. So now at this point, you'll see all your added media elements appear in the Media Menu panel. And with your cameras connected and in the preview monitors, you can turn your text and media on and off by simply tapping the eyeball icon to the immediate left of the element you've added to the media menu panel. And for videos, while recording, you'll need to tap the eyeball icon and then tap the play button when queuing up your video. You'll also be able to control your video's audio levels by tapping and adjusting the volume slider. To adjust and edit your added media item, simply select it from the media panel and you'll be able to edit and perfect its appearance and settings. If you have any more questions or if you want to learn more about managing media with Cinemaker, visit the Learning Center in the Start Screen menu.